All right, guys, let's continue with uh, the next mod under Clutter and Miscellaneous. So the next mod we're downloading is Rustic Alchemy and Enchanting Tables, a Skyrim Legendary Edition mod. This mod is a rustic overhaul of the alchemy and enchanting tables of Skyrim. The aim is to bring real antiquity to these arcane crafting tables as is fitting of their ancient origin. So we got a main file and an optional file. They're both 2K. So let's go download it. So the 2K main file and the optional revamped Alchemy Lab HD. Okay, let's install the main file first. Okay. Then the retex, the optional. Let's make sure it's named appropriately. So retex, a revamped Alchemy. Good. Okay. And then we're going to delete the dungeons folder in the texture pack of the main file. So we're going to go under textures and then dungeons we're going to delete. So if you uh, didn't see how I did that, you would right click on Rustic Alchemy and Enchanting Tables and then open in Explorer. Okay, next up, Rustic Amulets. Special Edition. This mod retextures the amulets found in Skyrim, including the ones from Dawnguard and Dragonborn DLCs. Let's download the main file. So much detail. I love it. Let's install it. Activate. Okay, next up Rustic Clutter Collection Special Edition. This mod is a high res and lore friendly retexture of Skyrim dinnerware, pottery, silverware, goldware, and wine bottles. And we're downloading the 2K version. That's in the middle. Let's install it. Very good. Activate it. Rustic Cooking Special Edition. This mod is a retexture of the cooking apparatus in the three versions, fire pit, stand, and pedestal. And we're downloading the 2K version. Okay. Rustic Furniture Special Edition. Rustic Furniture Special Edition is a high resolution retexture of the noble furniture and high chests for Skyrim. And we're downloading the 2K version. That's the very first one here. Hmm, there's a Smim version. Let's double check. Yep, yeah, we want the Smim version. The Smim 2K version. Let's install it. Okay, next up, Rustic Dragon Corpse. We want the 2K version. Very good. Rustic East Empire Company signage, Skyrim Legendary Edition mod. This mod textures the East Empire signage. And we want the light version. And I think light as in light brightness of the texture itself. I don't think it's actually like a light as in file size. Install it. Clean this up. Okay, next up, Rustic Elder Scroll Special Edition. This mod is a high quality retexture of the ancient Elder Scroll that features prominently as a quest item in both the main story and Don Gord, Dan Gord, the Don Gord DLC. You want the 4K version. That's the second one here. Rustic Animated Potions and Poisons. This mod is a lore-friendly retexture of the potions and poisons found throughout Skyrim. So there's a main file and an update file. And uh, I think we want the 2K version. We do want the 2K version. And then we want the update file. The SSE meshes. And since it's an update, we're going to merge it into the main file. So first, install the main file, Rustic Animated Potions and Poisons. And then install the meshes. Make sure the name matches. Okay, then merge. Excellent. Activate. 
Next up, Rustic Soul Gems Special Edition. This mod features high-res textures and modified meshes. The Soul Gems now have transparency and a subtle animated color shifting effect. Sounds good. You want the full mod English only. So, not the first one, the second one, keep going. And it's the last main file, full mod English only. So let's install it. So there's a full mod. Let's expand the full mod here. 2K textures, click next. And we want the unsorted plus ESL, unsorted plus ESL plus gist patch. So the very last one here. Install. Rustic Azure Star Special Edition. Rustic Azure Star Special Edition is a high res retexture of the Daedric artifact Azure Star. We want the 4K version. Good. Activate. Sigils of Skyrim banners. We want the main file banners. This mod retextures the banners seen throughout Skyrim. I think we come back later for the shields, but not right now. So let's install the Sigils of Skyrim. In fact, in anticipation of what I think is when we come back for the shields, let's go ahead and rename this banners. Sigils of Skyrim banners. Okay. Let's activate it. Okay, snazzy furniture and clutter overhaul, and there's lots of patches for it that we need to download. So let's download it. So we need the main file Two main files, one's the main file and then the main file patches and there's some optional patches. So let's go download it. So the first one is the main file, let's download that. In fact, let it download completely and we're gonna install it right away. All right, good, install it. Okay, so there's a full mod here. Okay, we want to choose the mix and match plugin, USEP version. That's the middle one here. Next. Next. Desaturated textures. Desaturated textures. Install. Okay, let's activate that. Close that. Now let's download the main file patches. And let's look at the optional files that we need. We need uh, Snazzy Vanilla Nova Chair. Snazzy Ancient Dwemer Display and Snazzy Weapon Plaques and Display Case Patch for Rustic Furniture. So, uh, we want the Ancient Dwemer Display Case. Yes. So, Dwemer Display Cases. Vanilla Noble Chair Patch. And the Snazzy Weapon Plaque and Display Case Patch for Rustic Furniture. We're going to install all these as separate mods. So... Snazzy Furniture Clutter Overall Patches has a full mod, so let's install that next. Where is that? There it is, right here. Okay. Uh, let's open this up. So that's really tiny, so I'm going to right click, click on View, so we'll get a bigger picture here. So we want Arthmore Villages, click Alternate Start. We want Cutting Room Floor, Enhanced Lights and Effects. Falskar, Helgen, uh, Immersive Citizens, Interesting NPCs Patches, Legacy of the Dragon Worm Patch, and the Worm's Tooth Patch, and then install. Oh, I forgot to rename it. So let's rename it. So let's just add patches at the end here. Because we want to install that as a separate mod. There. Good. Hit back. this up. Now let's install the other optional files here. So, Snazzy Vanilla Noble Chair, Snazzy Vanilla Noble Chair. Let's rename it. Drop down, Snazzy Vanilla Noble Chair, okay. Then next, let's go ahead and install the Dwemer Display Case. Make sure we rename it. Okay. And then the Weapon Plaque. Go down the weapon plaque, display case patch for rustic furniture. Okay. And let's activate all three of these. Very good. Clean this up. Okay, Solitude and Temple Frescoes SSE. Let's 
download it. And it looks like there's some uh, ESPs that we're going to delete, so we're going to do it this way. So double click here, click on manual, and we want to uncheck Solitude Temple Frescoes. Solitude Temple Frescoes, that's the first one here. Uh, Temple Frescoes Expanded, that's the third one. And then Temple Frescoes Small, the last one. And then OK. Stunning Statues of Skyrim. And we want the main file SSOS installer fix. Okay, let's install it. Okay, we got a full mod. I'm gonna expand this. Okay. Let's look at the full. Ooh, that is itty bitty. So let's right click at view image. Very good. So basically, we want to check all of these. So, Bella. Neat, Astronach, Terrific, Ysgromor, Melancholic, Madness, Awakened, Clever, Bucolic, Necrotic, Magnetic, uh, Malefic, Vehement, Spicy, Fancy, Sweet, Sovngarde. Hit next. And uh, for Debella, we want the HD meshes and we want Debella 2K. But next. Uh, Nocturnal HD Meshes, yes, Nocturnal 2K. Next. Azura HD Meshes, click, and then we want the 2K, good. Next. Terrific Talos, we don't want the meshes here, but do, we do want the 2K texture here. Next. Ysgrimor, we want the HD Meshes, and we want the 2K textures. Next, we want the HD uh, Meshes for Meridia, and we want the black 2K. Next. So we want the HD meshes with no glow. That's the first one. And we want the 2K version Malakath Stone. So that's right here. Next. So Winter Hold, we want the ENB HD meshes. ENB HD meshes default cape with the reduced glow right here. And we want the 4K textures for that. Next. So Clever Clavicus, we want the HD meshes default mask. And for the textures, we want the 2K version. Next. Boethia meshes, we want the HD mesh, and we want the 4K Boethia. Then Necrotic Namira, we want the HD mesh, and we want the Namira 2K. Next. Magnetic Mara, we want the HD meshes, and we want the 2K textures for her. Next. Mehun's uh, mesh, we want the HD mesh, and we want the, the green 2K. Next. Vermina, we want the HD meshes, and the 4K. After that, we want the 4K Skyforge. For the Falmer, we want the HD meshes, and we want the Rusty Copper 4K. Very cool. And finally, Sovngarde, we want the HD meshes and Sovngarde 4K install. Whew, that was a lot of options. Let's activate that. Click back over here. And next up. We are going to do subliminal, subliminal traps. And there's two optional files that we're going to install. Okay, we want the invisible tripwire. And uh, what was the other one? We want the Sovereign Guard Edition. That was the last option here. Cool. And these are optional files, so we're going to install these as separate uh, mods. So, invisible tripwire. Let's make sure it's named appropriately. And Sovngarde Edition, named appropriately. And let's endorse those mods. Very good. Okay. Next up, collectibles, treasure hunts, and puzzles. So let's cre create that separator. So copy that. Click on the three dots. Create separator. Paste. Okay. Very good. Legacy of Dragonborn, Bad Gremlins Collection. This mod adds a collection of treasures, treasures and collectibles for Legacy of the Dragonborn. And we're going to flag the ESP as an ESL. Piece of cake. We want the optional merged all for BSA version. So files. Go down to optional, merged all for BSA version. Very good. Let's install it. Okay. This mod contains a BSA. Do you want to extract it? We do not want to extract it. 
extract it. No. So let's activate it. Clean this up. And then open SSE edit. It's already selected in the drop down. Boom. Run. Okay, let's right click here. Select none. Go all the way down. Then select VG collectibles and hit OK. Let it do its thing. Okay, once it's finished, go ahead and expand the checkbox. Click on file header. Right click on record flags. Click on edit. Let the countdown go. Click yes. And tick the box next to ESL. Click OK. Then exit out the program. Make sure this is checked. Hit OK. And we're done with that mod. And now we're going to do Skyrim Unique Treasures. This mod adds one adds hundreds of unique treasures, weapons, and treasures. So the main file, let's download it. Very good. Alright, let's hit OK. And we do not want to extract that VSA. So let's check it. Okay guys, we're going to end the video there. In the next video, we're going to move on to landscapes and environments. I hope you're enjoying the process. I hope you're entering a very uh, satisfying flow state. So have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.